Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. Thank you again for watching, for subscribing, and for being on my channel, especially for all the amazing comments. I really, really, really do appreciate it, and I do read all of them, so please, please don't think that I'm ignoring you. It does take me a little bit of time because I do get a lot of them every single day. In today's video, I want to speak to you guys about something that you guys have actually asked me about several times. And so I'm trying to kind of go going through all of your suggestions. And it's taking me a while because I have about 300 suggestions that are on my list. So please, if I haven't gotten to yours yet, it's just because it's taking me a little bit of time to get to it. So please do be patient with me, yeah? In today's video, we'll speak about background music. Every INFJ that I've spoken to has this background music, this kind of white noise, this hum that's constantly going off in their heads. Now, I know a lot of you have asked me how to explain this to someone else, and I think it's absolutely impossible. Even in this video, I was trying to do it, and I had to do several iterations of it because I had a hard time even speaking about it. I don't understand how to explain it to other people. I don't know what it's about, actually. I'll give you an example. Um, a few days ago, or a few weeks ago, I watched this movie, Emily. It's a French movie, A-M-E-L-I-E. -E. And as soon as I watched it, it's one of those movies that INFJs love because it's just so deep and poignant and it's just so beautiful. It makes me want to cry every single time I see it. On the inside, not on the outside, obviously. And so I watched it and then that soundtrack, you know, that music, that movie, the feelings, the emotions, all that stuff kind of stayed with me for days on end after. Like I was listening to it in my head over and over and over again. And that's why I didn't have to watch it again because it was in my head. I had it. I had the feelings in my head. I had the emotions. I had all of it in my head constantly playing, playing, playing. You know how she felt in the, in, at the end when, you know, they were standing there and she was kissing every part of his face. It was so beautiful. And in my head, it replayed over and over and over and over again, right? And that's just one example. Like, I'll be, I'll listen to a really great piece of music, and oh my god, that'll stick with me forever, forever and ever. It'll be like in my head over and over and over again. I'll have a great conversation, and that'll play out in my head over and over and over again. So, this background music or white noise or hum doesn't necessarily have to be music. It can also just be conversations, it can be emotions, it can be stuff. But basic idea of it is that there's always this background noise, this hum, this stuff going on in our head every time, all the time, yeah? Every time we're awake, it's there. Even right now, I'm doing this video, but there is some kind of background music going on in my head. Now, the reason I mention it is because we spend a lot of time in our heads. And that's just like a given. It's just the way it is. We don't want to have conversations with people. I'd rather spend time with myself. And so I'm in my head and there's stuff going on and I'm doing all this stuff and suddenly I'll start laughing. And I've done a video on this when we start laughing out loud without any preempting, without any actual stuff going on around us because we were laughing at a joke in our head. Same thing happens to me when I'm walking around and I'm humming to myself because there's some music going on in my head. I'm like humming la 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 about it to myself. And so people again think I'm insane or I'm talking to myself about it because... There's a conversation going on in my head and I'm talking to myself. So someone is talking to me and I'm talking to them in, in my head. And so sometimes I'll, I'll say it out loud and again, it seem crazy. I'm not saying that not everyone does that and not everyone has that background noise in their head. Of course, everyone does. But for us particularly, I feel like there's a little bit extra there. And it's always there. It's like always so apparent that sometimes it's a little bit hard to get away from it. Now, maybe we don't want to get away from it. Maybe we actually do want to spend time in the real world. Maybe we do want to get away from it. I don't know anything about it. For me, I love it. I love this background noise. It kind of makes me feel less alone. I feel like I'm less lonely because I've always have this in my head. I always have this thing. Now, it might seem, if someone else is listening to this, that it sounds very lonely. But to me, it's like my constant friend, like my imaginary friend who's always there with me, who's always talking to me, who's always with me, no matter what is going on in the world, I always have this, right? I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, and I don't even know if I explained it properly, but I really did want to do a video on this because so many of you guys commented on it that I was like, you know, this is important. Do not feel like it's a weird thing for you to have this background noise. It's absolutely normal, especially if you're an INFJ. Also, I think you should embrace it and kind of run with it, yeah? I think it's brilliant and I think it's so important to have that for us specifically so we don't feel lonely, we don't feel alone, we don't feel like we're by ourselves, right? Because it can sometimes feel like that's the case. And for me, this is my imaginary friend, this is 
my partner in crime, right? She's she or he or it is always there with me. She's always around. She's always kind of moving through the world with me. She's there, and I can be with her all the time, or him or it, or whatever you want to call it, right? You could also think of it as subconscious. You could also think of it as you know your own conscious mind, but you know a separate of a self, a separate personality type, right? or a separate. Separate, separate self, basically, who's speaking to you all the time, right? So it's necessarily not necessarily insane. It's just, you know, different parts of ourselves speaking to each other. You know, there's one part of me that's very introverted. There's one part of me that's very extroverted, and she's speaking to each other, having a conversation, trying to figure out what this world is all about, trying to figure out where she is in the world, trying to figure out who she is, is basically what's going on, right? I don't know if this makes sense and I'm gonna put this video out there in any case because I want you guys to realize first of all that there's a lot of stuff going on with us that is sometimes inexplainable and sometimes it doesn't need an explanation and sometimes it's just there and we just have to embrace it I hope I hope that I've kind of put my point across as poignantly as possible um, if you guys have any questions about this please do let me know because I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that's gonna come up because of this video and so ask me questions, let me know what you thought about it, give me feedback, let me know what your background music, background hum sounds like, I'd love to hear that. And if you guys have any other questions, any other suggestions for videos, please let me know. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.